Hello and welcome back to our Astrox Imperium. Let's play poorly. And here we are doing some things. What are we doing? We have ore harvesters galore. So, uh, yeah, shall we do some ore harvesting? We need to make a little bit of money, and but mostly we need to make skill points. Uh, so we can start doing... We need to get this ECM thing going. We need to get more energy capabilities. We just gotta go, go, go. All right. Let's see. We're in Foo. So, let's see. Do we have anything out here? It's Quasar Ore. That's decent. Yeah, let's go for some Quasar. 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 All right, you guys do your murky things. Guns out. I wish there were a way to clear all except for what I'm targeting, but I don't think there is. Through these, even these big rocks, like it's nobody's business. Back to Bliss Heads. It's probably not worth a lot here, but the only places where they were really buying ore was all the way back in the beginning of the of the map, and I don't want to go all the way over there. Twenty five K, that's fine. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted missions. What do we got for missions? We can assassinate, exterminate. Oh, Casa Call is right next door. But Om Sip, shit. Om Sip is like the beginning. Mmm. Don't want that. Oh wait, that was yeah, it's this one here. Yeah, start sector, but the end sector is all the way back here. That's no good. This one, start sector is where? Just a couple back, and then ends back there. This is just taking us way, 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 way away from where we want to be. You know what? Maybe... All the way, no, that's still too far. Okay. Oh, but there's three pages. Let's see. Page two. These aren't great. Yeah, these keep pushing. I wish there were a way to... Uh, can we filter by... No, there's no way to filter by distance or anything. That would be great, is if we could say uh, what is the total number of jumps between, you know, from start to finish. Because I really don't want... Yeah, see, I just don't want to have to go all the way back. So all these ones ending back here. Why? Why? 
starts back there, ends up well. Nope, nope, no. Let's not, let's not do that. I mean, I'm going to be spending more time looking at these missions than actually doing anything to travel to them. Yeah, no. Let's let's not do that. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go to Farquaad. We're just gonna push. We're gonna push, 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 push. So how many sectors do we know? We we what are we about half, third maybe, more than a third. Let's count while we're running. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two. So we're actually almost halfway through. The HSE run. We're trying to get to 50, which is the number of sectors we've got in this in the in the game, which is the smallest number of sectors you can have. And we're nearly halfway there. And I'm probably still in good shape to push, so I think I think I'm gonna push. I, I do have to switch my weapons out so I'm not firing at them with the ore cell or ore harvesters, but I, th I think we'll be alright. Love these planets. I love the I love the art style. Really, I really do. These two pilots, yeah, this pilot's leveling up. She was, she started out at level one when I first hired her, and now she's at level ten. This one probably started around there too, and has been with me longer, so is at twenty-four now. Their loyalty, her loyalty is nearly fifty percent. Hers is only eighteen percent. They are slowly, slowly building up. Point oh one per tick on this one. Probably the same on this one. Yeah, 0.01 per tick. I could give them entertainment stuff at stations. I think that will help their loyalty. Just that when I went to do it last time, they weren't on station. They, had, uh, they hadn't actually landed with me yet, so I guess I need to... You know what I need to do? I'll pull them up. Here's what I'll do. I will select them all and return them to formation so that they'll be with me when I dock at the station. I need to dock at a station so that I can uh, swap out my, my guns. Does Farqua have stations? I don't remember. Yes. Cybermind and Temple of the Void. Okay. Cybermind. Loyalty is still going up, but but morale is dropping because they're not able to do their do they're not being given the option to do their auto task, and for that reason their morale is dropping. It drops at the same kind of tick level, so it's actually it's slower, looks like. Um so once you get them at hundred percent mor morale, it's probably not probably not going to be an issue if you just have them follow you for a good chunk of time because they're not going to probably drop you below like 90%. But I think you do need them at 100%. You need them at some threshold percentage, I think, in order to build a station or to put them on a station. Not to build one, but to put them on a station. Don't know what that that le that is. It might be a level. It might be, um, it might be a morale. It might be a loyalty. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so we do have a lounge. Mm, entertainment. Starlock Casino. 5% morale boost, 5% loyalty boost. And this one is 15 morale, 5 loyalty. And again, because morale is so easy to gain, you just put them on their auto task, I feel like this is not very well balanced, which is to say most of these things probably shouldn't give morale, or should give less morale, or loyalty or uh, auto tasking shouldn't give you as much morale as as uh, as that does but all right purchase that uh, 
doesn't give me the info I want, that's fine. Any missions here? Damn it, they're all back there. Why? Why? Oh. God, they just, yeah, just, I just can't catch a break here. Alright, that's fine. We won't worry about it. Oh, that's the level nine. I want this. These guys here. And what else? Oh, let's see. No, no, no. Uh, no market. So we have the pulse four, and then we have the two pods. I think that's where we are. Do we have anything else available? No. Okay. All right. Pilots, go ahead and auto task. And now we're going to the next zone, which is Sipjaya. Sipjagi. Sip. Sipjagia. Sip All drones. Selecting the combat drones. Guns out. Why aren't you going anywhere? Pirates, where are ya? There they are. Oh, yeah, that's right. Keep forgetting this doesn't work. There we go. This doesn't work to target the guns. Combat drones. All right, well, that's they're actually set, so let me go after after you here. Dispatch, so let's go ahead and engage this target. And engage. I'm going to tell you to go and do the crate grabbing task. Ah, 
last one. Come on, drones. Go after it. Nope. Oh yeah, forgot. Still can't do it. Oh, why? Why, why, why? There we go. Oh, it looks like Zay it's out of out of energy. This officer is a little tougher. But not that tough, not tough enough to survive my guns. All right, drones, select all and dock. And you're still grabbing crates. There's one over there. Where are you? You doing it? You coming over? Nope, apparently not. What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Oh, so there's nothing in it. Huh, well, maybe that's not why. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you to me. Uh, there we go. So I can check your cargo. Where are you going? Are you coming? Yeah, all right, there we are. There's an ore harvester. No! You get to keep your guns. Nothing there, all right. Back to the auto task patrolling. We're at 68% energy. Oop. Let's see, let's send out a Passive ping, and then add some things here. So there's a uh, Schlick Diamonds. That's another one right there. Yep. All right, let's uh, let's do a full pull. So if you do a bounding box scan and then hit H just before you fill up your targets, it will continue the scan on any previously unscanned targets. So that way you don't have to like be more you don't have to be precise at all. You can just kind of do a full run scan here. And now now we're down now it looks like we're down to the ores. But it's a good wet workaround if you don't have uh, a long range passive scan boot, uh, like a pinger. Um, the, where is it? Is it up here? The passive pulse scan Q button. Uh, if you don't have a very good range, you can do it with a bounding box at max distance here. And, and it'll basically do the same thing. You just have to kind of nurse it a little bit. All right, done. And then once you max target and then hit H, then it won't continue to scan. So let's go to food made. Do we have any... We have two skill points. All right, so we're in Food Maid. Food Maid's got a market. What are they looking for? Just off supplies and food service stuff. Any good missions for us? No. 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 Ooh. Well... Because it goes back to Risky McKay. Don't like that. Don't like that. 
Let's go ahead and sell these things that we don't need. We ha don't have uh, we don't have anybody here. Our guys aren't here. So let's uh, let's head out. We need to find the, uh... oh, we already picked it up, Mel Zappa. All right, let's go to Mel Zappa. Same deal as before. Drone group one. Guns up. Oh, yay, we got 20 skill points for just kind of being around. Uh, I guess we've got the Exploration Assistant achievement. Ooh, gosh. Uh, there's a bunch of guys over here. All right, drones, do your thing. Where are my drones? Oh, they didn't launch. Oh, crap. We'll go after the officer over here. Oh, we're getting smacked. A little bit. Yeah, now if I were, if I'm, when I get to season three, I'm going to be a lot more tactical with this. So something like this, I would be targeting him with some of my weapons. I'm going to try to play the game as, you know, with the, with the complexity that's in, in that's built into it. But for right now, we're just brute forcing the shit out of this. And, oh, 44 skill points. Okay, I could get behind that. Yeah, my, my drones are kicking ass over... Ah, oh, yeah, all right, let's engage with this one now. See, so, yeah, so it's already... I am doing a little bit of that tactical complexity with my drones. I just don't, I'm not doing it with my guns. And I, I would love to try doing that with my guns to see if that is a, a way to do it without it being, like, overly cumbersome. But we'll see. Alright, done. Finally, this one. Because one of the concerns, one of the complaints, I guess one of the uh, critiques of the game at this point by some players is that there's not as much tactical complexity in the combat. I agree to an extent. I, I mean, it's... It is true that it is possible to play the game without in, engaging with the tactical complexity of, 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 what's, of what's offered. Uh, but I think it is still possible to do it with the tactical complexity, and you can do interesting things that way. Um, it's unfortunate that it's not necessary. Like, you can just basically brute force everything, uh, and you'll be fine. But the option is there, and I want to try it out and see and see how that works. Okay, Imperium Republica. You know what? We didn't go to Cybermind in the previous... Uh, 
in the, in the previous sector, but that's okay. All right, Mercs, um, return to my return to formation just in case. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this guy we have. He picked us up. She picked up some stuff. Pulse beam. Oh, she's out of range. Okay. So like I said, we're going to, in Season 3, we're going to try to be as intentional as possible about engaging the game RPG style and uh, using all of the gameplay resources that we have. That means we're probably going to be pausing a lot during combat. We're going to be doing it like RTS style, like small scale RTS, and, and, and it's just going to be, uh, well, RTS the way I play, I guess. Uh, so we're just, we're going to give that a shot. All right, so market. What do you? Oh, you do want ore, so you're the ore guy. All right, so we we now have an ore guy here. That's good. We didn't have one before. Who is this? Oh, still not there. That's that's the BS one. Where's the other guy? Where where's where's Vecpay? There she is. Here she comes. There's a pulse times 10 laser, which we're going to want at some point. Uh, so we'll hang on to that, but we'll get rid of that. And the beam we don't use. Do I need to keep that capacitor lying around? I don't think so. We have a premium capacitor already. Yeah, let's just, let's just pop that away. Yeah. yeah, we're not getting money for it. It just gets rid of the clutter. Okay, so... Oh, uh, actually, I want to see if we have a Pulse 5. We do not. What do we have for Pulses? And we have a Pulse 7 here, which we can't use yet. 70 skill points. Advanced targeting systems. Is that something that I needed? I can't remember now if that's what I needed to get the ECM thing. I feel like it is. Should I just do it? No. No, I'm going to wait until I know, know whether or not that's accurate, actually true. Alright, let's go to Terra Drone Robotics. Ooh, I've never seen one of those. In any game that I've played, I've never seen a Terra Drone Robotics. That's, that's fun. You have a market. What do you have? In demand? Oh, nice food, food stuff, and you supply generators, energy stuff. Okay. Prototype. Pre oh, prototype energy generator, and a prototype energy capacitor. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we already have a prototype energy generator, so we need a prototype energy capacitor. Nope. Yeah, there we go. No, spell it right, Kevin. Got it. Now, garage. Prototype. Sell you back. Done. University. Ship. Energy regen, ooh, 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 energy regen, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 33 points, wow, all right, let's do it. Done, all right, so that's a good, that's a good progress for us for today. Two sectors, got more skills, and uh, yeah, when we come back, push, push, push. We're almost at halfway, almost at the halfway mark, this is exciting. Thanks for watching, see you next time.